Arna Das. I study in class four section D. My model is how kidney work. The major function of kidney is to remove waste products and excess fluid from the body through urine. It controlling acid base balance, controlling water balance, controlling blood pressure, maintaining electrolyte balance, removing toxins and waste products from the body, producing the hormone erythropoietic, activating vitamin D. Kidney is been shaped and each weighs about 160 grams. Kidney filter 200 quarts of blood each day to make 1 to 2 quarts of urine. Kidney is the main organ of excretory system. The parts of excretory systems are right kidney, left kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, urethra. Kidney is kidney filter blood. They help in help to generate waste products in form of urine. The urine pass through ureter to urinary bladder. It is stored in a urinary bladder. When the bladder is full, the urine pass through urethra. Thank you. Hello, I am Dithiman Dasar Standard Five from Bakshi Jagbandi English Medium School 2. Today I am here to explain you how the human digestive system works. As you know, all living beings need food for energy. So have you ever thought what happens to the food we eat every day? As you can see, here is my working model of human digestive system. With help of this, we can easily understand how it works. The main parts of our human digestive system are mouth, oesophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. Wait here, I am pouring some water in the mouth. See, the water is going all through organs and eliminating through the anus. Let me explain you how the organs uh, work. The digestive process starts from the mouth with the help of teeth, tongue and salivary gland. The, when we eat some food, the teeth chew to chew with the help of saliva which is secreted by the salivary gland. Then the food get moist and the moist food is uh, pushed by the tongue to oesophagus. Oesophagus is also known as the food pipe. It squeezes the food down. The squeezing process is also known as the peristalsis. Peristalsis squeezes the food down to stomach. Stomach is a sac like organ with strong muscular walls. It store food for several hours in it gastric juices and enzymes are secreted which help to which help to break down the food further into paste then the food goes to the small intestine small intestine is 18 feet long tube it mixes the food by the help of enzymes which is created by the pancreas and and by which is secreted by the liver. Then, then the food changed into fine particles which can be easily absorbed by the walls of small intestine and finally to the blood. Then about 90% of nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine. That is mind blowing saying. The undigestible food moves to the large intestine. Large intestine is the 5 to 7 feet long tube. It, it absorbs the remaining nutrients and moves the remaining waste to the... Hello, this is Kunal Mitra of Standard 3D from BGM2. Greeting you a very good day. Hope you are safe and sound in this pandemic. Now I will present my experiment on photosynthesis process in proton leaves. Food is necessary to live life for all. Like our mother cooks food for us in the kitchen, food is being prepared for the plant through the green leaves. These green leaves absorb sunlight, air and takes water and minerals from the soil. Through the green leaves, through the green pigment which is called chlorophyll, plants make their food by themselves. This process is called photosynthesis. Now, 
The question is, will photosynthesis take place in proton plants? Yes, let us do an activity that photosynthesis. This plant have chlorophyll and they do photosynthesis. First, I have drawn a shape of a leaf. Then I have colored it with green color. Then I have colored it with yellow color. Then I have colored it with red color. Then I have scratched it with scale. Green color came into the visibility which means chlorophyll is there in this plant and they do photosynthesis but they are masked by other colors and appear non-green color to us. Thank you. Have a nice day. Inspector Principal Ma, Judges and my teachers. I am Rudrana M. Pratha, Standard 3 Section D. Today I am going to explain about how the croton plant make their food. As we know, food is essential for living wood. Humans prepare their food in kitchen. The trees prepare their food in leaves. The leaves only green in color have prepared food using photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis is the process of preparing food by plants using sunlight, water, other minerals, carbon dioxide in presence of chlorophyll pigment of leaf which is the universal green pigment. But the croton plant leaves are not green in color. So has it any chlorophyll pigment? How the croton plant make their food? Let's learn about this. Come, 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 come. First take a green color and color the leaf. Then take a yellow crayon and color above the green. Then take a red crayon and color above the yellow. Then then take the scale and scratch it. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. See friends, here is green color. From the above, we may conclude that leaves like croton and other have chlorophyll. But the red pigment hide the green chlorophyll pigment and appear dark red in color. And such leaves can prepare food using photosynthesis process. With this I conclude. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good morning everyone. I am Sreya, a student of class for Business School 2. I am showing a walking model of kidney. First of all, what is kidney? One of the pair of organs in the abdomen. Kidneys are very important organs in our body. Without them we could not survive. They clean our blood and get rid of waste that our body produces. The main function of the kidney is to send back the filtered blood to the heart, maintaining over all the fluid balance in the body, regulating and filtering minerals from the blood, filtering waste materials from the food and creating hormones to produce red blood cells. It has a beam shaped organ located just below the ribcage on each side of the spine. The kidneys are the part of the urinary system. The main part of the kidney is renal cortex, renal medulla and renal pelvis. The kidneys are surrounded by thick and fibrous tissue which is surrounded by peroneal fat, renal fascia and peroneal fat. The kidneys work to ensure an adequate amount of plasma to keep the blood flowing in the body. The fronts are an important part of each kidney. The dead blood metabolizes nutrients and helps pass out waste from the filtered blood. 
Each kidney has about 1 million of nephrons. The kidneys are at the back of the abdominal cavity with one sitting at each side of the spine. The right kidney is generally slightly smaller than the left to make space for the liver. Each kidney extends right through a tube called ureter that leads to the bladder. Each kidney weighs up to 125 to 170 grams in males, 115 to 155 grams in females. This is the right kidney. This is the left kidney. These are the ureters. This is the bladder. Now I want to show you how it works. When I put water in this, the water passes through the kidney, through the bladder, through the ureters. Now I want to say some interesting facts on kidney. If only one kidney becomes very sick, a doctor can remove it. Other, um, other person needs a special machine to clean their blood. This is called dialysis. Sometimes people need kidney transplant. That is when another person donates a kidney to be put in the sick person's body. Keeping your kidney healthy is easy for most kids. Just pay attention when you feel thirsty and drink up. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Sita Pallabhisai. I am from class 5. Today I am going to tell about digestive system. Digestive system is one of the most important system of our body. Digestive system starts from mouth and ends with anus. The process of breaking down of food into simpler substances is called digestion. First, we eat the food through our mouth. In the mouth, the food is break and mashed with the help of saliva, tongue and teeth. Then, the food reaches to stomach through a food pipe or esophagus. In stomach, the strong acid breaks the food further into simpler substances. The liver extracts a juice which name is bile juice in which helps in which helps in the process of digestion. Then the food goes to small intestine. In small intestine the nutrients are absorbed. Then it goes to large intestine. In large intestine the extra water is absorbed and the waste is then stored in rectum and then eliminated through anus. Let's see the process. This is the esophagus. This is liver. This is stomach. This is small intestine. This is large intestine. This is the rectum. This is the anus. Let's see how it works. Here, first we eat food and then and then the food comes to esophagus and reaches to stomach. Here, the food is break down into simpler substances. Then it comes to small intestine. Then it comes to large intestine and then the food is extracted from anus. Thank you.